Hello, everybody, and welcome to today's webinar, Money Drop, Money Drop. Before we get started, I would like to go over a few items so you know how to participate in today's event. You may have joined the presentation listening using your computer speaker system by default. If you would prefer to join over the telephone, just select phone call in the audio pane and the dial-in information will be displayed for you. We welcome your questions and you will have the opportunity to submit text questions to today's presenters by typing your questions into the questions pane of your attendee control panel. You can send your questions in at any time during the presentation and we'll collect them and address them during the Q&A session at the end of the presentation. During the registration process, we did receive a couple of questions, but we do hope that they are covered in the presentation. But if not, please, as I say, do send your questions in. We do have some handouts available for you in your control panel, and you can download those at any time during the presentation just by clicking on the links in your handout section. It's my great pleasure to introduce your first speaker, Mr. Jamie Munro, who's the sales manager for Pentland Medical. Jamie, over to you. Okay. Thanks, Jill, and uh, thanks to everyone who's joined our webinar today. Um, as Jill says, I'm Jamie Munro, the sales manager for Pentland Medical. Um, also today, I have Mr. Marku Viherleo joining me, who will be helping out with the live Q&A session that we're doing at the end. Marku, if you would please introduce yourself to the audience. Yes, hello, my name is Marku Viherleo, and I'm a registered nurse with over 35 years of NHS experience. I have worked in London hospitals in various positions, but mainly as an anaesthetic recovery nurse, but I did quite a lot of project work as well. Since 2018, I have worked for Pentland Medical as a clinical advisor. I'm the product specialist for MoneyDrop, and with my years of nursing experience, I can see great potential for it in the UK and the worldwide healthcare markets. Thank you. Okay, thanks Marku. Um, today's webinar is all about the MoneyDrop IV Fluid Monitor. MoneyDrop is an exciting new device which was only launched in the UK earlier in 2019. We are going to show you how MoneyDrop can not only improve patient safety, but also reduce healthcare costs and overall workload to the NHS and healthcare providers. Stay tuned and we will explain further the potential to increase efficiencies and save money. Just to quickly run through our agenda for today, I'll start by telling you about our initial work in the UK and the interesting feedback we've had on the current landscape of the IV therapy market. The main feature of today's webinar will be a pre-recorded presentation from the official UK product launch at the EBME Expo in Milton Keynes earlier this year. Following this, we have another recording, this time a demonstration of MoneyDrop with the CEO of Monidor, Miko Savola. Finally, we are running a live Q&A session in which Marku and I will do our best to answer as many questions as possible. As Jill covered at the very beginning, please feel free to submit your questions throughout the webinar and we will answer them at the end. Okay, so moving on, uh, we will soon launch the pre-recorded presentation from the EBME Expo. But first, I want to talk about MoneyDrop in relation to current practices in IV therapy from our experiences to date. MoneyDrop is essentially a drip counter which will accurately calculate flow rates and total volumes infused by clipping onto the vast majority of currently available manual IV sets. Prior to launching the device in the UK, we did some of our own research into the current practices with IV fluid therapy, and we identified a range of problems which we believe can be resolved with a user-friendly, small and portable device such as MoneyDrop. While it is accepted that infusion pumps are the gold standard method of administering IV fluid therapy and a mandatory requirement for certain drugs and fluids, many NHS trusts have a shortage of pumps. Despite many trusts having policies in place to use pumps as standard, our work so far has showed us that shortages mean these policies are not upheld and for many infusions it is simply not possible to locate a pump at a given time. Furthermore, we researched the current costs of infusion pumps and associated consumables. This has highlighted many differences across the country dependent on the make and model of pumps used. There are also several pricing models which often make it look as if the pumps are cheap. However, the consumable costs of pump administration sets are much higher than a standard gravity IV line, regardless of the setup at any given trust. 
The pre-recorded presentation we will be showing soon does go into more depth, uh, but manual IV therapy was highlighted as a concern in current practices. Even in this day and age, nurses are forced to manually calculate flow rate from a manual IV set, and this method can lead to inconsistencies which compromise patient safety. We have also identified that some hospitals are still using dial flow sets for certain infusions, despite many trusts prohibiting dial flow sets due to inaccuracies. They are still being used. You can download from the handout section a research paper which highlights just how inaccurate the dial flow sets are. Furthermore, dial flow sets, like pump administration sets, are more expensive than a standard gravity IV line. By switching from a dial set to a gravity line using MoneyDrop, savings of roughly one pound per infusion can be made, as well as improvements in accuracy and patient safety. Following our initial work in the UK market, we have subsequently positioned MoneyDrop as a, a missing link between manual IV therapy and the absolute requirement for an infusion pump. This has proven to be an excellent strategy, and many NHS trusts across the country have seen the void in the market that can be filled by MoneyDrop. Stay tuned as we further explain the MoneyDrop and the huge potential benefits for the UK healthcare market. I'm now going to play the pre-recorded presentation from the product launch earlier this year at the EBME Expo in Milton Keynes. Today's agenda, we're going to run through the, the background of MoneyDrop, uh, how the need for such a device was identified and the key benefits of the device. Um, Mark will, will talk about the inaccuracies of manual IV therapy and the complications that can arise from this. Um, we do have a short video to show on MoneyDrop uh, before we talk about the remote monitoring functionality of the device. Um, at the end, we're going to talk about the potential for cost savings on consumables and also reduced maintenance. Um, we'll be happy to answer your questions at the end, uh, and we are going to be running a live demonstration, so we would encourage you all to come up to the front and actually have a shot of money drop for yourself. Um, so without further ado, I'm going to hand over now to Nico, who's going to give you a, a background on money drop. Okay, thank you, Chami. As Chami introduced me, my name is Mikko Savolo, and I am CEO of money drop. And we enable better care with lower costs in infusion therapy, and we offer you monitor device, which is a small device, uh, and help work of the nurses and improve the patient safety by ensuring accurate infusion therapy. And also, uh, we reduce excess steps in the hospital ward and save time of the nurses when controlling infusions with remote monitoring. And uh, about the story of this device, uh, Finnish doctors faced frequent problems uh, due to inaccuracy of infusion therapy on hospital wards. Uh, and the reason was that most of the therapy was administrated uh, manually by, by calculating drops, which is prone to errors. It may run too fast or stop immediately without any alarm. And on the other hand, there were uh, infusion pumps, but due to big size complexity of use or especially high expenses in, in consumables, they were not widely used on the wards. So, so it turns out that there is a big gap between manual administration and advanced pump. And there was need for a small, accurate and a cost-saving device. And that is why small monitor device was developed to enable better care with lower cost in infusion therapy. So I'm Marko Vihraio indeed, and I'm a clinical advisor working for Pentland, but my background is nursing, and I was qualified in Finland as a nurse. I worked there about five years, then moved to England and worked in uh, various London hospitals for 35 years. Don't add those uh, years up because you find out how old I am. Though you probably guessed it because this young two men remembers everything what they're going to say. I have to read it from my tablet. Um, anyway, so this is a very unhappy picture. Uh, you can see that the patient is completely ignored. This is not what patient care should uh, be about. And the medic there, doctor nurse, is recording everything um, uh, with a pen and paper. So still in 2019, the infusion is administered on the wards without accurate settings. Um, and the infusion information is sent to patient records with pen and paper. 
the nurses had written down the infusion speed, speed calculations on lolly ticks like this, this is mine. And they used that one together with a stopwatch or, or the uh, uh, you know, uh, watch that they had here um, and to calculate the infusion speeds. That took a long time and sometimes patients talked to you and you had to start calculating again and it took forever. Now, um, I would actually say that the nurses invented memory sticks 50 years before the IT companies uh, uh, went to the business with them. Um, think how different this picture would look like if that administration set, that IV set there, would have a, a drop calculator like the Monidrop. It would be immediately much better picture and the patient would be happy as well. Um, and that would leave so much more time for the nurse um, uh, to talk to the patient and observe the patient's condition rather than uh, writing it down on a piece of paper. So um, manual, manually given IV therapy is inaccurate and prone to errors. Infusions may run too fast or they might stop suddenly without any warning. This causes risk to the patient. The picture shows the results of the IV therapy accuracy. Nurses try to set 200 mils an hour and manually calculating the drops as taught in a nursing education. Actual results were measured with a money drop device. Results varied a lot and this picture shows that it is not easy to set infusions accurately. And you can see there in a, in a green bar graph that only 31 out of 129 nurses could reach 12.5% accuracy. Now money drop device has a better accuracy at plus minus 11%. But look at those extremes. I mean, 20 to 25 uh, percent of nurses under-infused or over-infused the patients. So, cost uh, basically dangerous to the patient's condition. So, what are these dangers? Problems are uh, inaccurate infusion fluid therapies are many. And nice guidelines for intravenous fluid therapy in adults in hospital published in 2013 and then again updated it in 2017 highlighted the issues relating to poor fluid therapy management in hospitals. Inaccuracy in fusion therapy can lead to complications. Very common complications are pulmonary edema, cardiac failure, and also electrolyte disorders like hyponatremia. And also, you might under-infuse the patients with fluids and in extreme situations that could um, cause a hypovolemic shock. This all adds to the longer hospital stay and increased um, uh, mortality. Now, we are going to show you a short a video, um, uh, and uh, this will show how to set it up, how quick it is to set it up, and uh, when to use it and how to use it. Thank you. IV fluid therapy is mostly administrated like this, but this method often lacks accuracy. Monidrop is the missing link in IV fluid therapy. Precise and stress-free fluid therapy for hospital wards and home health care. Monidrop is fast and easy to use. When you adjust the roller clamp, Monidrop shows you the accurate flow rate. Monidrop saves time and makes IV fluid therapy precise and stress-free. Professionals around the world have welcomed Monidrop with great excitement. Monidrop, welcome to the new age of IV fluid therapy. Okay, so Monidrop device can assist nurses itself by showing accurate flow rate, uh, how much fluid is administrated, and giving alarms in case of infusion related problems. Further benefits can be achieved when using this remote infusion monitoring that can save extra steps in the hospital ward and lead to the shorter emergency response. A need for this uh, uh, remote infusion monitoring came from hospital wards. When they start using uh, monitor devices, they immediately asked 
if it would be possible to see status of all infusions on the ward from one screen. And the problem was that uh, uh, they didn't have enough time to check infusions so many times uh, than they should have to. And the problem was biggest on the night shift, when there were less nurses working on the ward. Uh, for example, there might be 20 to 30 patients and two or three nurses working on a shift, and they didn't have a time to check infusions. And they asked if it would be possible to check it from uh, overview screen from PC or mobile device. And that is why uh, remote infusion monitoring was developed for the hospital wards. So we enable better care with lower cost in infusion therapy with Monitrop and we save extra steps and time of the nurses with the infusion remote monitoring. That's awesome! <laughs> okay, thanks Miko. So hopefully everybody now has a, a better understanding of the practical benefits that Monidrop can provide. Also very important are the economic benefits. Um, so I'd like everybody to think about the, the use of their infusion pumps at their, at their hospital. Um, now it wouldn't be entirely necessary to always use an infusion pump if we could accurately monitor the flow rate from a gravity set by using Monidrop. So on this slide here we highlight the difference between the, the unit costs of a, a gravity IV line and a, a pump giving set. Uh, and in the bottom part of the slide here we highlight the potential monthly savings and annual savings based just on one one gravity set per day in place of an equivalent pump set. So potentially over £1,000 per annum worth of savings based on the use of only one money drop. Many more savings could be realised through extensive use of money drop throughout the hospital wards. Um, so as well as savings on consumable costs, uh, we can also cut down on maintenance required just by cutting down on overall pump usage in the hospital. Um, pump availability is also a big problem for many hospitals um, due to the frequency of pumps breaking down uh, and also the cost of new pumps being prohibitive for many NHS trusts. Um, Monidrop is very low cost and low maintenance by comparison. It only requires a battery change and calibration every two years. So thanks everyone for, for listening to our presentation there. We're going to go into questions, but I would like to remind everyone we are doing some demonstrations at the end, so I'd encourage you all to, to come up to the front. Okay, so before we press ahead, I'd just like to put a reminder out that we will be running a, a live Q&A session at the end of this webinar. Um, so please continue to submit your questions by typing them into the questions pane of the control panel, and we will do our best to answer as many as possible at the end. Um, I now have another pre-recorded video to show you, uh, but before we launch, I'd just like to point out that we have a, another handout available for download, which is a quick user guide for the MoneyDrop device. In this video, the CEO of Monidor, Miko Savola, will demonstrate the basic use of the Monidrop device and cover some of the most commonly asked questions. Uh, this should give a better understanding of how Monidrop works, and you can get a feel for how it can be used in practice. Hi, my name is Mikko Savola and I am CEO of Monidor. We are here to present a small and smart uh, Monidrop device that is designed for the infusion therapy. Monidrop device can be used with the most common uh, IV gravity sets. Monidrop can be clicked uh, to the gravity set like this. Monitor device can be switched on uh, with uh, this button, power on and on off button, like this. And by pressing start button, it starts calculating drops with optical eye. Once it has detected uh, three drops, uh, it will show flow rate and after that it will update flow rate uh, after every uh, drop. It is possible to set alarm limits. There is settings and alarm limits for the total volume, uh, duration and also infusion speed. If you set two settings, it will calculate 
third one automatically. If I here, for example, set uh, alarm limit for 1000 milliliter and, uh, and five hours, it will aut automatically calculate uh, infusion rate that should be 200 mils per hour. Monitrop will alarm automatically if uh, infusion runs, for example, too fast. I can show you. And it will give uh, audio alarm. Uh, you can adjust uh, audio alarm uh, level if you want to. It is possible also to switch off all alarms. Uh, that is useful uh, many times in the night time. And it will happen from uh, settings. And you can check all alarms off if you want to. It is possible to decrease or increase uh, infusion rate while it is running by adjusting roller clamp. There is history of the previous uh, treatment in this device and it is for example such a case that uh, a device is turned off by accident and they want to restore the previous uh, treatment. Battery uh, will last with one charge about 50 hours and uh, recharging battery takes from 0 to 100 percent roughly two hours. Device can be used while, while it is plugged in to the charger uh, because it's a medical device charger, so it is possible to use it. Monitrop has uh, in it, its package also charger and docking station that can be used for charging. Thank you. Okay, thanks to all of you who have spared your time to join this webinar. Before we head to the live Q&A session, I'd like to highlight that we are running free trials for anyone who is interested. Uh, please quote this webinar and contact us during the month of October to take up this offer. You can contact me directly, phone our main office or inquire online at www.pentlandmedical.co.uk. All of these details will appear on the following slide. Uh, I'm now going to hand back to Jill who will manage the live Q&A session. Thank you very much, Jamie. And as Jamie mentioned, we are now going to our live Q&A session and you can still submit your questions. We have quite a few questions in here for you, Jamie. So let's take the first one. Our hospital doesn't have enough infusion pumps. How could a simple drip counter solve this issue? Well, hi, it's Mark here. This is a very important and good question because this is exactly why Monidrop uh, can help you. Uh, many of the infusions in the hospital uh, do not require a, a pump. Many of them can be given uh, with a, a drip counter. For example, maintenance fluids, many of the antibiotics, um, other medications, there's a list, long list of those. Nutritional intravenous products can be also um, infused with uh, and using a money drop as to observe the infusion. And of course, the blood, of course, blood transfusions. And actually, I just want to draw your attention that there's been some research coming out now that uh, blood transfusions shouldn't go through the pump even because of the, uh, for example, in volumetric pumps, you have uh, clamps and the narrow tubings, and those could actually uh, damage and even destroy some of the cells. So Monidrop is perfect for blood transfusion. So if you use the Monidrop uh, this, uh, uh, for this type of infusions, then you free the pumps for the infusions that you have to use uh, a, a volumetric pump. Some of the medications like adrenaline and things like that are like life-saving medications. They have to go through a, a volumetric pump. Um, now, uh, Monidrop will monitor the infusions uh, that have usually time limits. So um, rather than leave them without any accurate monitoring. So um, this will um, um, avoid over or under infusion patients. Both uh, scenarios can be very harmful as uh, in the presentations you, you heard. So that, that's what it is. It's a drip, drip counter that will um, uh, deal with many of the infusions in, on the ward and in the hospital. 
and, and freeze the volumetric pumps. Thank you very much, Marco. Um, our next question is, how accurate is the money drop device? Yes, uh, again, a very good question. I, I would like to start by saying that people often forget that volumetric pumps uh, are also inaccurate. And in lab conditions, the average inaccuracy can be anything plus minus 5%. Um, and then this, will, of course, can increase uh, uh, on, in award settings. Now, a money drop accuracy relates mostly to the gravity set uh, uh, accuracy, and that can vary from a few percent to up to 10%. The standard is saying that it shouldn't go over 10%, but there are gravity sets there that are even um, more inaccurate than 10%. Now, money drop accuracy on its own is about 1.8%. So we, we tend to say to our customers that um, inaccuracy, you can calculate it as a sort of a, around 11%, then you know that you're uh, pretty much in safe limits. Um, now, just like I said, it's a drip counter, so you cannot use it for the life-saving medications. Um, but um, uh, also, um, I would like to sort of highlight here that the, the, the drip flow sets, the dial flow sets, are even more inaccurate and, and really should, uh, many of the trusts have banned them. Uh, also, something I'm not sure if it came in the presentations that um, the money drop is used with the gravity sets that are 20 drops per mil. So you cannot use it with a burial set and things like that, and, and not with the sets with 50 drops per mil. But luckily, most of the gravity sets have been calibrated to 20 drops per mil. Thank you. Uh, just just to add to that as well, Marku, I mean, uh, there is, uh, in, in the pipeline coming along as well, the manufacturer is working on a, a specific um, gravity set that will work uh, the best with money drops. So it will be designed to give the, the highest level of accuracy possible. Uh, some of these manual IV sets um, aren't the best, uh, but this one uh, we are going to be selling in future will uh, be calibrated to be the most accurate for money drop. Thank you very much, Jamie. And um, moving on to our next question. In fact, we've had similar questions about um, cleaning the um, money drop between patients. Um, and is there a recommended number of uses? Um, and regarding the cleaning, is there a separate process for decontamination um, for use in infected areas? Yes, I mean, it's, um, it's a really, really good product for infected areas because uh, it is much easier to uh, clean than the uh, volumetric pumps um, in general. So um, you can use alcohol wipes, 80% um, isopropanol, alkaline disinfectants, and even in infected cases, 2% um, chlorine. Um, and I would sort of recommend that you leave it on, of course, to take its effect, but then wipe it off again with a spirit based um, uh, uh, fluid. So yes, it's uh, it's um, very much can be used in uh, infected cases and often used in the uh, burns units uh, uh, and that sort of situations. And the other part of that question was: Is there a recommended number of uses? Oh yes. Um, um, well, Jamie, please. Uh, yeah, I mean it's a it's a reusable device. Um, I mean the it's expected lifespan of about five years. Um, so yeah, I mean as many uses as, as you'll get out of that really. Um, the warranty is one year, but um, expected lifespan of about five. Thank you for that clarification. And I've got an interesting question here. So does it count drops or measure the drop size? It counts the drops. Um, so, because you have to use a set that has or is calibrated to 20 drops per mil, so it counts the drops. Um, so, for example, if you would swing the, the unit a lot from side to side, now the drop size would change. So, you would get uh, um, odd readings first, but when it settles down, then you go back into the normal settings. So, um, yes, it is calibrated to 20 drops per mil. Thank you very much. And a question here, um, I know you mentioned it in the presentation, but can you just clarify, how long does the battery charge last? It lasts up to 50 hours uh, with a full 100% charge. And uh, 
charging actually takes only two hours from zero to 100 percent but yes it lasts 50 hours but you as said in the presentation you can actually you do, if the battery starts running out it does alarm the battery low you just plug it into the um, uh, wall supply electric supply and continue uh, video infusion there's no need to remove it uh, and it charges while it's in in use fabulous thank you very much marku um the question here is this classified as a pump as some medic medication infusions will specify the use of a pump um, no it's not a pump it's a drip counter and that's important to uh, see the difference there but it it can be used for many of the uh, infusions that are uh, that we do deliver on the wards and departments so specific medications like they will say adrenaline noradrenaline potassium should go through an infusion pump so in that case you wouldn't use uh, a money drop device yeah it's, i guess it's, a, it's an important distinction to make um the money drop is is a monitor it will monitor the fluid coming down it won't control it like a pump um but that, that's kind of where we we, we I mean, I noticed there was another question there asking us to clarify on why we've we've uh, said that it's the missing link between manual IV therapy and infusion pumps. Well, you know, it's just that there, there are certain infusions where it's not absolutely necessary to use an infusion pump, uh, and that's where you can make some cost savings, you can improve efficiencies. Um, we, we did talk a little bit more about uh, the remote monitoring uh, functionality, and um, that, that's going to be coming along soon as well. Uh, and that's really going to, you know, in increase efficiencies and, and just allow you to keep an eye on all of the infusions uh, on on the board and, and really, uh, you know, as I say, increase efficiencies. Thank you very much. Um, our next question is: Do you have to adjust the fluid blood flow rates once it's been set? Actually, again, a very good uh, question, uh, as patient monitoring is vital and, and just because you use an infusion pump or, or, or a, a, a drip counter or, or monitor, you still have to uh, monitor the patient. Um, we actually recommend uh, that you, when you have started the infusion, especially like maintenance fluid if it's over many hours, once you set it, go back in 30 minutes or so if it's an antibiotic that needs to be given over one hour, um, maybe after 10, 15 minutes, you go back and just check that the, the rate is still what you expect it to be. Um, of course, you can see a green light on this um, a device, and that will always indicate that it's in a perfect limit. Um, if you have an amber, static amber light, you know that it is still perfectly okay. Uh, but maybe um, later on you might want to uh, readjust it. So why you have to readjust the, the sets is not because of money drop. It's more to do with the admin set, so administration set, because those tubings, um, walls are different thickness, and uh, they, they can be sort of a sliding on that, or the roller clamp quality as well can affect uh, on that. Uh, sometimes you need to readjust the flow again a um, little bit later. And after you've done one readjustment, it tends to stay pretty much uh, okay. Um, um, I want to just say that the money drop is more, using a money drop with a gravity line is more accurate than having nothing on, because if you have no nothing monitoring your administration set, then uh, you have visually you cannot say if it's within the uh, accurate limits or no you, or not you would have to calculate the drops um, so you know that's where the money drop really is a beneficial thank you thank you very much and our next question do i still have to observe um, iv infusions or can i trust the money drops device now you obviously can set the alarms uh, and alarm limits uh, for the device and in this sort of situation it will alarm when it goes outside those parameters however even if you haven't set any alarm limits or you have set the alarm limits um, the money drop will alarm will always alarm occlusion when there's an occlusion in the administration line or iv cannula that is when it actually does it a little bit earlier when the uh, flow rate drops below six mils an hour 
um, it thinks that it's going to get occluded and it will alarm. Now, in this sort of situation, um, by the way, if it uh, is occluded, and then let's say the patient bends the arm and it's occluded, um, then the patient straightens the alarm, um, the flow will start again, the alarm will stop. You don't need to go and reset it. With the pumps, generally, you will have to go and reset any alarm. So in this case, Monidrop is really very, very good. It will also always alarm uh, continuous flow. So when it goes to 1,200 mils an hour, it cannot observe the drops um, passing the sensors and it will start alarming regardless if you set the alarm limits or set any alarms. Thank you very much. And our final question for today, um, does it have an event log? A what? Log? Sorry. I think uh, by, by event log, you know, does it record uh, previous infusions? Uh, Mark, oh, you perhaps, yeah. perhaps are best to. Yeah, I mean, uh, my understanding it does uh, record the, the the last infusion, but no more than that. Is that correct, Marku? No, no. It it will keep a total. If you use the same device, you can use it for many days, and actually, the device shows how long time you've been using this particular device with this yeah. patient. So it will calculate the total volume constantly. So it will show that um, um, in a, it won't, in it won't, it won't keep line. a log. Or, it won't keep a log of different infusions of you no. a single patient. Only yeah. That, yeah, only for but, that patient. Yes, yeah. it will not have like a history log for the last five infusions. No, you couldn't in, interrogate it like that. It but, only but shows. It does, it does. It does store the last one though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much for that clarification. So just leaves it to me to thank both Jamie and Marco for their presentations and thank everybody for attending today's webinar. Once you leave the webinar, you will receive a survey on the presentation and we'd really appreciate if you could keep your browser window open and complete that and provide your feedback. You will also receive a follow-up email within about 24 to 48 hours, which will include a link to view a recording of today's webinar. On behalf of Pentland Medical and our presenters, thank you so much for joining us and please do enjoy the rest of your day. Goodbye. <laughs>